I'm a self-taught musician and I'm a songwriter. I've been very fortunate to have garnered three Grammy nominations throughout my career as a professional musician, uh, which I'm very humbled by. As a younger man, I used to sell high-level pianos. So I understand how they're made, I understand the actions, I understand the importance of the soundboard. That information helped me make an informed decision. My expectations for excellence were super high. I expected to be let down. I didn't want to buy a new retail piano. I really wanted a vintage Steinway. It was a huge decision to make, uh, which is why I researched your family's company behind the scenes for years. I've reached out to past customers. First thing you most consumers will ask, was it still a Steinway? That's a skeptical thing people might think. What I can tell you is, Steinway and Sons have a very specific tone. Their resonance is unique, the clarity of the piano, the tonal qualities and personality of the piano of Steinways sound like Steinways. Have I seen the marketing confusion out there about it's not really a Steinway anymore? That's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. This is a Steinway and Sons piano, hard rock maple frame, cast harp that was done in the Steinway factory in 1924. A soundboard that was restored to the exact standards of how it would have been restored in 1924. The action that I picked out for the piano that suited my playing style. And that's just the nuts and bolts of it. But how do you know? You play the piano. You hear the tone of the piano. It sounds like a 1924 Steinway & Sons Model B because it's a Steinway & Sons 1924 Model B. There's no doubt about it. I'm a discerning consumer, right? So I'm not gonna just talk to somebody on the phone, look at their website and buy a piano like this. I'm just wired to where I need to go kick the tires, look in the engine and see what it was made out of and make sure that what you guys were saying about your company's process was actually legit. So my wife, Jen and I flew up to New Jersey to interview your employees, to meet Todd Lindeblatt, and to talk about your philosophy in, in restoring these pianos. I told my wife when we arrived, look, we're not gonna be sold. Nobody likes to be sold. My experience was the complete opposite. The integrity that Linda Blad Piano Rest Restoration family has was pervasive throughout the whole business. There was a sense of pride from every employee to work for that family. So I walk into the factory and he introduced me to Gallo. He's got a big smile on his face. He's got his workshop with his, smells like wood. You know, it just smelled like you're walking into a workshop in the 1800s or something. And he couldn't wait to tell me how he builds these soundboards because he knew what he was doing. Then I found out this guy was the belly man, which they refer to in the industry as the soundboard guy, for Steinway restoration process for 30 years. And now he's working for Linda Blad making these soundboards to the exact standards that Steinway would want in their pianos. I mean, that sold me right there. I mean, this guy, he's the guy. After five and a half hours of putting you guys through tough questioning, I left convinced that the pianos that your family works on end up being the best in the world. I was so convinced at that time that you were going to restore a piano that I did not even see. And then you sent me pictures of the piano. I thought, oh my gosh, this piano, how are they gonna revive this piano? It was in pretty bad shape. It's an old piano. And you said, Eric, trust us. We're gonna be meticulous about this piano. We're gonna make this piano sound amazing. And you did, you did. And one thing that's important for me to say for any other consumer who's thinking about buying from Linda Blad. The level of integrity and the way you treated me as a client was second to none, regardless of industry. I never felt like I was being sold. I could tell that your goal was just to put the right piano in my hands and restore it to my standards, which were as high as yours were. I wanted the best, the best. So we made the decision to purchase the piano. I put my 50% down. I felt confident because your return policy is unbelievable. You said, look, we're gonna restore this piano. It's gonna far exceed your expectations. And if for any reason it doesn't, we'll come pick it up. You'll give you your money back. I had nothing to lose. 
It was, I was like, you're really gonna send somebody all the way down to Louisiana to pick up this piano if I'm not completely satisfied? You said, absolutely, no questions asked. That's hard, I mean, it's unbeatable. And then the restoration part starts and this takes months. And it's like having a baby and I was nervous. I wanted to know all the details. You guys kept me in the loop. You would send me pictures of before and after. And hey, today we're working on the harp or today we're working on the soundboard. And you know, do you want to talk to Gallo? He's got, you know, I had all kinds of questions. I was that guy. Your attention to me was unbelievable. You replied to every phone call, every email. The personalization that you and your father gave me was unprecedented. I've never been treated so well. And then once you called me and said, hey, Eric, we're ready for you to come see the piano. I was so nervous, I was so excited. Music means so much to me. It was really one of the most important days in my entire life was to meet this piano after it had been restored. And I'll tell you, I walked around that corner in your factory and you guys had the piano set up and lit up and I was speechless and I had tears in my eyes. And I, I was embarrassed. I looked over to my wife and she's crying because the piano was so stunningly beautiful. When I first saw this piano, it, was, it took me a few seconds just to gather my composure because I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. It was perfectly restored. It was emotional. Just aesthetically, the piano looked beautiful in our home. Um, and I was speechless still. And my wife, who's very supportive of me and my music, looked at me and said, you've worked your whole life for this and you deserve this piano. The fact that I now own a real piece of history that is a world-class instrument is just a dream come true for me. And the benefits are just remarkable. I, the level of inspiration I have now, uh, because this piano is in my life, um, I feel honored to own it. Um, my songwriting has, gotten, has become more creative. I'm playing better, I'm more inspired. It's hard to walk by this piano without stopping because I know what's I know what's in here. The, the tone, the resonance, the richness of, of the sound is unprecedented. I felt like it was your goal to make me happy and to match my playing style and my expectations with the right piano. Such a nice. We're having a listening room party at our home. We're gonna bang on the piano and, uh, and try to make some sweet notes out of here and perform for some friends and family. You know, it's very rare for the average listener to sit in a living room and hear a piano of this magnitude intimately. And so I encourage, I mean, anybody who, who wants to feel kind of, not only is your, uh, not only do y'all restore old world pianos with old world techniques, I feel like the way you treat the consumer and the customer was old world too. I will say to whoever's watching this, cause I know I'm gushing about the piano. I have never known the Linda Platt family. Uh, I'm not a paid spokesperson. I'm just a musician who loves music, and I wanted a world-class piano of my dreams. I never thought I would be that guy with a Steinway B from 1924 in my living room, but thanks to Linda Blatt Piano, I am. <laughs>